Hello and welcome to a new video here on the channel coming to you from my Cardiff airport setup. But of course that is not the topic of today's video. If you have watched my latest Harpa news video, you know that the very first models of the 0910 release batch from Harpa Wings was leaked. We talked about that in my previous video and now we have the full batch and of course we will take a closer look at that. And as already reported in my previous video, the 0910 release batch will comprise of the Airbus A320neo of British Airways in the Better World delivery. Now, however, we also know the price, and that is 35 euros. That is Halpers' official retail price for that model. Yes, you've heard right. 35 euros for a single aisle scale 500 model from Harper Wings. And that is a standard model, so not even a club model. This price is beyond insane. But let's move on. Another model that I could already report on is the 767-200 of Delta Airlines. And it looks like Harpa has gotten a taste of the 767-200 because we will receive quite a few of them. Not just this Delta Airlines, but in the same batch we will also get this Varig 767. And while both models are not going to join my fleet, I must admit that the Varig livery on the 767 looks really, really awesome. But again, with a retail price of 40 euros, there's no way that I will buy that model. But if your credit card hasn't already been turned into liquefied lather, then you might have enough money left for this 777-300ER of Saudia in the special 75-year livery, which also has gotten an official retail price from Harper Wings at 40 euros. Next up, we have something for military collectors with this KC-10 of the US Air Force, which has gotten slapped on a mighty retail price from Harper Wings of 43 euros. So with that price tag and given that I'm not a huge military collector, that is also a hard pass from me. But when I listen to the community, it does sound like I'm not the only one here. And then there is finally something new for Asian collectors and even a narrow body, an Airbus A321neo of Asiana Airlines. I guess that could be a right. I'm, I know many would probably have preferred a Korean Air, but at least a narrow body from Asia. And um, it's been a while since we last had an Asiana Airlines model. But this model will also set you back 33 euros. Next up, we have a new freighter from Harper Wings. And yes, you guessed it. It is, of course, a 757 and, of course, of DHL. But at least it has a special sticker added to it, which is the Hello Austria sticker, which, of course, was added to the aircraft in real life as DHL moved the registration of its aircraft from Great Britain to Austria. So if this is enough to excite you and you would like to buy the model, then the official retail price for that is 33 euros. And then after many years of waiting, we finally get a new Iberia Express aircraft model and this time of an Airbus A321neo. This will also set you back 33 euros in case you are interested. And then I think maybe the most exciting model in the scale 500 batch is the A320 of Aegean in their new livery. This model will, however, also set you back 33 euros. But at least those who missed out on the A321 Neo of Aegean have another chance of getting an Aegean model for their collection. And then another huge disappointment for me is the 767 of Austrian Airlines. Not because I wouldn't mind having a 767 Austrian Airlines in their current livery, but we have had quite a few 767 models from Herpa Wings in the past. And I desperately would like to see an Airbus A320 in the standard Austrian livery. We've been waiting for about 20 years to get a new standard livery A320 in the Austrian Airlines livery. And Herpa just constantly misses the mark. I mean, I could then also complain about the retail price of 40 euros for this aircraft model. But at this point, who honestly cares? Oh, and by the way, of course, they also announced the 2022 Christmas model. That is an A340-500, also for 40 euros. I mean, if you haven't already burned all your money with the previous models, then I mean, why not get this as well? So those are all scale 500 models that will be in the 0910 release batch from Harper Wings, but there are a few other models that are worth at least mentioning. In scale 200, the batch contained the Dash 8 of the latest iteration of Fly B with their latest livery, and also the Embraer E2 of Helvetic 
Airways. In the SnapFit section, they also had the A320 of Jazeera Airways, which I already mentioned in my previous video. And they also had the SnapFit of the ETA Airways, which I had bet on would be a scale 500 model, but unfortunately it will be a SnapFit model. So those were all the models other than the scale 500 models that I also wanted to highlight. For me personally, the biggest disappointment with the 0910 release batch is simply the fact that the ETA Airways is a SnapFit model. I was so sure that it would be a scale 500 model, but apparently not. I don't know why they would skip that, but maybe we can get it sometime in the future. And then of course we have the prices, which are absolutely insane. Look, I'm repeating myself here every time we make these release batch videos. I'm talking about how insane the prices are and Helper simply manages to just add another level to that every single time. I don't understand how you can increase the prices once more. We had already leveled off at basically 30 euros for all the single aisle narrow body aircraft model, which was already insane. And now we have models like the British Airways, which retails at 35 euros. That is a rip-off. There is nothing that can justify that price. I can go to the FMB shop today and get a scale 400 model, a single aisle Airbus for 35 euros. That's scale 400. It's a model that is highly detailed, way better than anything that Harper produces. And now I'm supposed to pay 35 euros for a single aisle Harper Wing Scale 500 model. That is absolutely insane. And the truth is that if Harper continues like that, they're just gonna kill off the hobby. But what do you guys think about this release batch? Are there models there that you definitely would like to buy? What do you think about the prices? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this type of content, I would very much appreciate if you could leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.